What's good, YouTube? Um, my name is Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be taking out my braids. I've had them for about four borderline five weeks, and I use it as a protective style just over the winter break because I didn't really want my hair out in that Maryland cold. And all you really need to take them out is spray bottle, a brush, rat tail comb, and scissors. So yeah, I'm gonna start taking these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I already started taking them out. Um, this is a couple braids that I took out. And yeah, so I'm gonna show y'all how to take one out from the start. I'll just pull. Okay, so basically, I just measure it or try to remember how long my hair is so I don't cut it. So I see from this one that it stops about here, and I'll just cut it. I'd like to cut it a little lower just because I'm a little scary cat and I don't want to cut my actual hair. Just take this, toss it in the trash, and start unbraiding. Wow, good job, Morgan. Once you get up to it, the hair will just come right out. And like I said, the rubber band is in there. So I'll just take it out, just slide that down. And you can see the buildup in my hair right there. It's really gross and it's like hard. It's gross. So I'll basically just spray it on it just a little bit along the ends too. And I'll take the comb and just start at the ends. Okay, so quick interlude. My camera shut off midway through me explaining how to get the buildup out of your hair with the comb. Just go from end to root and gently comb out the buildup that has set itself at the center of your hair and just work that out. And then once you get it out as best as you can, you can use the brush. I didn't really use the brush, but it's also an option to just help uh, detangle it a bit. So yeah. All right. Back to the video. Okay guys, so I took all my braids out. They're all out, my hair's back out. Um, so basically I need to wash it now. So I'm gonna use my my shampoo, this right here. Uh, Biotin and Collagen Thickening Shampoo by Ren Pure Originals. And my conditioner, the OGX brand Tea Tree. I love this stuff, it's literally my favorite conditioner. Um, and then I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, treatment mask to do like a deep treatment on my hair and conditioning, basically because I'm really not feeling doing the whole uh, deep conditioning thing today. The whole braids, taking them out was a lot of work anyway. So I'm going to do that and then wash that out and use my leave-in conditioner by um, Shea Moisture as well, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil one. So yeah, so I'm gonna go hop in the shower, wash my hair, and do all that good stuff. So I'll be back. Okay, so I washed, conditioned, and detangled my hair in the shower with the products that I said earlier. And I now have this treatment mask in my hair right now. And I'm gonna let this sit for probably 15 20 minutes um, I'm just gonna straighten up my room while I let it sit so that I keep myself occupied and I don't get too bored because once I get bored I'm gonna want to rinse it out early prematurely it's probably been about close to 10 minutes since I've had it in my hair so it won't be too much longer but um, there's also the option to apply heat if I was gonna like just sit still and like do homework or something I would apply heat and um, use my blow dryer and my bonnet attachment that I got from the hair store but I don't think I'm gonna do that today so I'm gonna let this sit clean up like I said and then rinse this out in the sink in the kitchen so I don't have to get back in the shower and then I'll be back to show you guys the results and yeah okay so I have washed my hair and everything is out and this is the finished result of my hair I put um this leave-in conditioner in the 
another Shea Moisture product um, with the Jamaican and black castor oil, leave-in conditioner, and I comb that through my hair. I split it in two and comb that through both sides. Um, I also trim my ends a little bit just because the front of my hair still has um, some little straggly pieces and stuff like that, like this. So, but the back is like popping, you know? The back is real popping. I'm just trying to get the front to be real popping like the back. But yeah, so I'm pretty much just gonna twist up my hair and probably wear it in a scarf for a couple days. Um, but yeah, my main goal right now is to just give my hair a little bit of a break so that it can grow and flourish and whatnot. Um, and I'm not really banging with the cold in my hair, so yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Um, turn on your notifications so you know when I post. See you guys in the next video. Yeah.